All right, hey everyone. Okay, so welcome back to another Bad Mechanic Sonic News Update video. And yes, slightly different angle today. Uh, some people said they wanted a better look at the display case to see what was in there. So we're going to experiment a little bit with these news update videos. Trying, yeah, like this with the arms. Trying to get some, trying to get some pretty decent angles and also ones which don't ruin the audio and visual quality. So let me know what you think of this one, and we'll see if we'll go ahead for it in the future. Anyway, let's get straight onto it because. Over in America right now, in the good old city of New York, if I can make it there, I can make it anywhere, yeah. Yeah, that was my failed uh, singing career. Anyway, over in the city of New York right now, there's the New York Toy Fair. And yes, guys, this is what we've been waiting for. This is the thing we wait for all year as much collectors to see what awesome new Sonic stuff and also what awesome new video game stuff is going to be available there. Since we kind of talk about Sonic stuff on this channel, what Sonic stuff have they got? What have Jack Specific pulled out of the hat? Not very much is the unfortunate answer. <laughs> yes, unfortunately, Jack Specific are there, but guys, I have, I've got to say, I'm a little bit disappointed with what they've brought. They haven't brought much stuff, so let's take a look at one image right now of their entire Sonic range that they've brought to New York Toy Fair in 3, 2, 1, go! So that's it. It's literally just one big display case and it's one big display case. Yeah, um, I mean, guys, there's more merch in my display cases than there is in Jack Specific's display case. You can't see all of it, a lot of it's down here, but there's, trust me, there's more in there than there is in Jack's. But anyway, they have revealed some new surprises. Unfortunately, a lot of their stuff is stuff that we already knew about or that we knew was coming and stuff that was revealed over at the German Toy Fair in Nuremberg. But that said, they did reveal some new stuff, so let's take a look at some of that new stuff right now. So the first thing that's really new that we haven't seen before are these articulated Sonic figures. So there's currently four available in the set, and we've got Sonic, because of course we've got Sonic, and he's got one of those bumper pad things accessories. Yeah, you know, the things that you jump onto and it springs you off and makes the boom noise. Yeah, one of them. And we've also got Tails as well, because of course we do, and Tails actually comes with an invincibility item power-up box. That's, um, that's all right. That'll look cool for displays and things. And of course, we've got Shadow. Shadow fans are all rejoicing right now. And he actually comes with a 10 ring icon sign. Um, not bad, I guess. I guess that's quite cool. But I think the best one is, crazily enough, it's the Eggman figure. Check this out. So the Eggman figure is based on modern Eggman, because of course it will be. But what's really cool is the spike trap that comes with it. That's great. You've actually got hazards now. And if you've got any of the old Badnik figures, you could make some really cool stuff with that. I'm glad that we're finally getting articulated figures, because I think articulation on the figures is really good. It's great for display cases and it's great for actually you know building themes and sets you know like you know you know the thing like like they are bringing out dioramas and we've seen companies finally bringing out dioramas but it's so much cooler when you can actually construct your own little scenes and if you've got figures that can pose that's great that's great because then you can sort of have construct little mini scenes from battles or mini sort of areas. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. It's playtime. That's what I mean. It's playtime. It's just fun. It's just fun things to do. Like if you're playing with them or if you're just doing what I do and put them in display cases and make them look awesome. So that's something which is really cool. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. So the next set of figures are also articulated figures. Now, some of these have actually been revealed before at the German Toy Fair, so we're not going to spend too much longer talking about them. But we do have a Metal Sonic, a Tails, a Sonic, a Knuckles, and this wasn't shown at the German Toy Fair. There's also an articulated Chow figure complete with rings. All right. I know some of you are going to be really excited because there is a ravenous and loyal fan base for Chow out there. I know there is. I've seen it. I've seen them commenting on my videos. In fact, if you are one of those ravenous, loyal Chow fans, put in the comments right now, I am one of those ravenous Chow fans. Rah, rah, rah. So yeah, we're getting a articulated Chow figure. Now, Tomy did release some Chow figures in their last line. They weren't readily available, unfortunately, so I'm hoping that this is going to make up for that. And... Did Jazzwares release a Chow figure? I'm not sure. I certainly don't remember there being one. 
But hey, we're getting Chow figures at long last, so that's something which is quite awesome. Anyway, guys, we've got to move on to the next one. So the next item isn't exactly new because it was revealed at the Nuremberg Toy Fair, but it is something amazingly cool. It's a Green Hill Zone diorama playset. What I really like about this, and unfortunately it's not pictured here, you notice that the rings are actually fixed inside the loop. Well, you can actually put figures in there as well to give the impression that they are actually running through the loop. And there's also a spring as well, and from the looks of it, it might actually have some functionality to it. And I do like the fact that there's other platforms, so you can have figures and play sets on different levels. That's really cool. I'm really excited for that. So this is something that fans, many fans, older fans like myself, have wanted since the 90s actual play sets to put stuff on. Because guys, like I said before, it's cool when you can make your own stuff, when you actually have something that you can make, that you can construct, that you can feel, that you can see. That's something which is really cool because you don't have to just put Sonic stuff on that. You can put anything you like on there and you can make some crazy battles. Now, which one of you toy manufacturers are going to finally build me my Death Egg playset? But until you guys out there make my Death Egg playset, we've got to talk about what else was at the Jack Specific booth. Guys, they also brought some plushies with them. Yeah, some plushies. We all like plushies, don't we? Look, there's plushies in there. So yeah, guys, what sort of plushies did they bring with them? Well, they brought some really cool plushies, some huge, some chunky boys. Yeah, let's take a look at their chunky plushies. So the first two plushies that they have on show were a giant Sonic and a giant Tails plush. Let's just get the first thing out of the way. Why does Tails have such a funny head? I'm really hoping that's a prototype and not final image because it just looks a bit odd. But the Sonic plush looks great. I especially like how shiny his shoes are. But what's really interesting is if you actually look at the Tails box, if you zoom in there, you can actually see that the Sonic and the Tails plush is linked together so it actually gives the impression that the Tails plush is carrying Sonic in flight just like from the video games. Hey that's cool that's cool that's something different we haven't seen before I kind of like that you know when you can actually have plushies that grip and hold stuff it's really really cool when they do that but I think this is a first I think this is the first time that we're actually going to get to see some plushies that can actually interact with each other I mean okay it's only going to be basic but just think about it you can have a Tails plush grabbing onto the Sonic one, and if you're really clever, you can hook up some sort of string and hang it from your ceiling. That'll look amazing, right? I think it'll look amazing. What do I know? <laughs> Shut up, leave me alone. I think it'll look great. Anyway, they had some other plushies there, and these were... <gasps> oh. Yes, guys, it has finally happened. The Mighty Plush has finally appeared. So the Mighty Plush was announced nearly a year ago, but they only had concept art of it. But they finally revealed it and shown it off. So before we get talking about that, let's just get the other two obvious things out of the way. Yes, this plush set comes with two Sonics, a Super Sonic and an Amy Plush, which is cool, but we have got a few of those now but the Mighty Plush is the main star of this one. And unfortunately, we don't get a good look at him, but he does look fantastic based on what you can see. He's got his little ears, and amazingly as well, he clearly has a different look to Sonic, because you know the old joke, Mighty is just a red Sonic, but this one looks really good. He, you know, he clearly looks different to the Sonic Plush, and I like that. I like the fact that they haven't tried to cheap out here. They have made an effort to make the likeness just that little bit different. It's very subtle. It's the shape and the size of the eyes, I think, which give it that different kind of look. And I know some of you are going to be like, yeah, but he's got different ears and a big red stripe, but it's the facial features. You kind of know what I mean. So anyway, guys, the Mighty Plush is real. It is coming out, and I believe it's actually coming out in just a few months' time. So, wow, I cannot wait to get my hands on that. Should I do a review of it on this channel? Let me know down there in the comments if you want to see the Mighty Plush on this channel. Because I want that in my house, guys. Do you guys want that in your house? Let me know, guys. You know the score right now. Jazzwares probably... Jazzwares? Not Jazzwares! What am I talking about? Jack Specific. They're probably going to be checking this video out because I bet they're going to be checking out like who's uh, uploading stuff talking about their products right now. So make sure you let your voices heard. If you want this Mighty Plush in your house, put down there right now. I want this in my house because I want it in my house, damn it. I want it in my house. It's going to live in there next to Big the Cat. It's going to be great. Unfortunately though guys, no sign of the rumoured Ray plush. I really hope that comes out. I really hope the Ray plush comes out. Like granted, it was a prototype image and it wasn't 100% confirmed that it was the Ray plush. But guys, if there is a Ray plush out there, 
Jack Specific, if you are watching this, don't cancel Ray. Guys, flood the comments with this as well. Do not cancel Ray. Everyone, don't cancel Ray. Don't cancel Ray. We need Ray. We need Ray the Flying Squirrel because he's got to go with his best friend, Mighty. They've got to hang out. They've got to hang out in my display case next to Big the Cat. So, guys, Jack Specific, if you are watching this, please do not cancel the Ray plush because it's awesome. But anyway, there were a few other items in there, but we're just going to breeze through these very, very quickly because this is stuff that's already been out and that we've already seen before. So as well as classic Sega Sonic stuff, they also had Sonic Movie items. A lot of this stuff is actually already released and is available, and many of you already out, out there have it. So one of the items that they had was the Talking Sonic Movie plush, Baby Sonic plushies, which are still based on the old Manhog design, if you can believe that, and that charging, zooming, Sonic spin dash thing. I don't really know what that is. And of course, whilst this is technically new, it was posted on Smith's Toy Shop a few days ago. We have the Sonic Sports figures, which feature the... That goes basketball. Okay, guys. So I think that pretty much covers it for Jack Specific. Now, now, it's still very early. Toy Fair has only been open for one day. There's still some toy makers there with stuff. And, 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 whilst this is technically like the Jack Specific video, we do have something else which is really cool. Diamond Select are there as well, and currently we have two images from their booth, and unfortunately they're not very good, but we might be doing a video on them later. And, oh boy, I'm really excited, because guys, they showed off this. It's a Sonic movie statue. So the photo isn't very good, but it does show Sonic, and this is the redesigned Sonic, so no more Manhog. On top of what looks like one of Robotnik's drones, I don't think it's the actual Egomatic from the end of the film. I think it's supposed to depict the scene where he's sort of riding the drone in the movie, but obviously it's a very, very different look. I think they are actually going for Sonic is actually attacking this one. So they also showed off something else at the Diamond Select booth, and oh boy guys, I really want to see this, and I'm going to be talking about this when we get some better footage and videos of this. So you know how the Good Smile Company put out the Sonic Nendoroid, and Tomy put out their ultimate... Sonic figure, you know, the one that's got all the faces and you can repose it and stuff. Well, Diamond Select want a slice of that pie. Check out this image. So Diamond Select is showing off their own version of the Ultimate Sonic figure, and this guy's looks amazingly cool. Aside from the fact it looks like quite a high-end Sonic figure with lots of customizable parts, look at the packaging, guys. It's done exactly like an old Mega Drive or Sega Genesis case. Oh man, I so want to get my hands on that. Diamond Select, if you do happen to watch this video by chance, Diamond Select, I would love to get my hands on that early. I would love to give my first impressions of that. So please get in touch, guys. You've got in touch before. Guys, do you want that figure? We might do another video on Diamond Select's booth later because I've got a feeling they might have some more stuff in there. So we will, we will look at that a bit later on. Huge thank you as well to my good friend, Uncle Mario on Twitter, who is kind enough to give me the heads up about all the Diamond Select Sonic stuff. So thank you, Uncle Mario. Tell me what your thoughts are on this. What from the Jack Specific booth do you want in your house? What are you kind of like, nah, I don't really want that, my good man. And the Diamond Select stuff, do you want that statue? That statue looks so cool. It looks so much better than what I thought of in my head. Because guys, I've got to be honest here. I was very, very nervous when they said, oh, we're doing a Sonic movie statue because they announced this, don't forget, when the Manhawk design was the thing they were going for. But that one looks so awesome. And that customizable figure as well, that's got me so excited. But for me, the highlight has got to be that mighty plush. We're finally, finally getting a mighty the armadillo plush, guys. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. Flood the comments. Tell Diamond Select. Tell Jack Specific what you want, what you don't want. Flood the comments with your thoughts on this one, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like for the mighty the armadillo plush and click that bell and subscribe button. It's not in the right order, but who cares? And I'll see you guys again next time. Goodbye.